The lack of backwards compatibility between PSVR 2 and the original PSVR is a bit of a double-edged sword. On one hand, we're getting a ton of games for Sony's next-gen VR headset that have been specifically built or overhauled to make use of the new hardware, but it also means a lot of games in your PSVR library will forever be stuck in the past. Thankfully, there are a handful of developers who have pledged free PSVR 2 support for their games, many of which you can already grab on the store before the headset launches on February 22, 2023. Resident Evil Village A free PSVR 2 upgrade is expected at the headset's launch in February, which includes the entirety of its main story in VR. We went hands-on with Village back in September, and it proved to not only one of the best-looking games on PS5 to date, but probably one of the best in VR, offering up a level of visual detail that approaches Half-Life, Alex territory. Careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> after the fall team zombie shooter after the fall is cross compatible with pc and quest but it's soon to be available on psvr 2 too as vertigo games is tossing out support for sony's latest and greatest at some point in early 2023 it's basically left four dead in vr and it's most definitely worth getting a team together since this horde shooter is cross-compatible with PSVR, Quest, and PC VR headsets. No Man's Sky This space simulator used to be considered gaming's biggest flop, but, thanks to Hello Games' continuous updates it's become the industry's biggest redemption story. With the promise of free PSVR 2 support, you'll be able to strap into No Man's Sky on launch day with your shiny new headset. Pistol Whip Pistol Whip is a rhythm shooter from Cloudhead Games, which has thrown out tons of updates and free DLC to keep you blasting away like John Wick to some pretty infectious beats. On PSVR 2, the game is said to offer fine-tuned haptics, adaptive triggers, higher resolution, 3D audio, and SSD optimization to bolster how the game loads and runs. Zenith, The Last City Zenith, The Last City is one of VR's most successful MMOs to date, offering up hundreds of hours of quests, jobs, classes, you name it. Developers ROM and VR say it's getting a free PSVR 2 upgrade. If you already own the PS4 version, the PSVR 2 supported PS5 version is already free to download, so nab it early so you can play with all of your friends on Quest, PC VR headsets, and the original PSVR. The Light Brigade. This is a new title coming to both PSVR and PSVR 2, developed by Funktronic Labs, the studio behind Fuji and Cosmic Trip. The Light Brigade tosses you on a procedurally generated journey to free the souls of the fallen trapped within, making for a tactical roguelike shooting experience you can play on launch day. to the Valley of Death. Road the 600. Hello neighbor, search and rescue. Hello neighbor, 
Search and Rescue is another new title getting both PSVR and PSVR 2 support, letting you delve into the same universe of the popular Hello Neighbor <laughs> stealth horror series. Sneak into your creepy neighbor's house to save your friend, and don't get caught. There are a number of games that many expect, or have heard will get either cross-buy or some form of free PSVR 2 upgrade at some point. We're in the process of verifying these titles, they still have poor documentation or studios haven't fully committed to free support. We'll be adding a new video to keep you updated on the release of new PSVR 2 titles, subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss it. Someone, anyone, please help!